Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pete. Haven't done a video in, man, <laughs> it seems like a long time. So, uh, yeah, things have been kind of slow for me, and uh, they're finally picking up again, which is good news. Um, I've had so many problems with a van. I finally uh, got it into a shop yesterday, and they want to charge me $520 to change the alternator, and I told them thanks, but no thanks. It's a shame because I really like the owner of the shop. We were talking about uh, wooden boats and stuff and I really like talking to him but $520 is more than I can spend on something I could do myself. <laughs> so I'm just going to pay him 45 bucks for uh, diagnosing it for me and then I'll pick up a new starter for $100 or starter, a new alternator for 100 bucks, and then just put it in uh, when I get home. So that's good news I guess. Hopefully that'll go well. If anyone has any tips on uh, you know troubleshooting in advance uh, what to look out for when changing an alternator. For me it's been about 20 years <laughs> since I changed an alternator so it's been a while. It's a, uh, a V8 so if anyone has uh, tips on that I appreciate it. So let me show you what I'm up to. Uh, since I had some free time on my hands um, I went ahead and made a bunch of picture frames and I'm really pleased with how the fest tools are working out. Man this thing right here the domino does such well let me show you it does such a beautiful job on attaching corners um oh that one's not cut oh this one is right here so right there is where it's going to attach and the reason it's closer towards uh this side is um if i tried to do it too far here it would come through the back because i want it to have like a nice chunk of wood this is beech wood and when that goes in that is so snug that it it has just enough room for just a little bit of glue as you can see on the edges barely barely any room there at all which is great I like it so I, I figured a way of doing it where I can adjust all four sides as I'm going because sometimes you have to tweak it just a teeny bit so what I've done is I've taken some oak and I've just clamped it down to a flat surface and then I'm not stuck in any one spot I can move this around the shop to get it out of the way and that's worked out really well. So I've clamped that down. And then what I do is I've got these clamps here, which push this way. So I had to drill a couple of holes and they sink in so tight, they don't, they don't budge. And then I could just lock it in place here and then do my adjustments with some, some larger clamps. And that's, man, that's worked out really well. I've done six of them in the past two days and I plan on getting a whole bunch more done because I've just got a batch of drawings um, that I'd forgotten about for a long time and I want to get them all framed up and maybe even show them somewhere because I think they're really uh, they're worthwhile I think they're nice and next time I do some watercolors then I'll have frames ready to go that'll be nice too and then let's see oh the one project I really want to talk about this is gonna be fun uh, since I'm working on a, a railing project where it's um, up to 17 foot spans I want to make sure it's level and I don't have a really long level um, with me here in this shop I've got uh, a couple of what are they uh, Stabilo levels but those are uh, those are on the other side of the country in a storage space so uh, I figured I'd make a couple of levels and what I'm gonna do is I've got this strip of hardwood that was left over from the picture framing and I'm gonna sand that down real pretty and then what I plan on doing is um, making this and what that is is just it's an air bubble I mean how hard is that <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and find some yellow dye and then I'm going to use this piece of uh, plastic um, tubing, and I'm going to cut it to size, cork off the ends, put a little yellow dye and leave just enough room for a bubble, and then figure out a way of inserting that into the center of the wood here. And that'll be a nice little uh, level, you know? It's, I, I don't think it'll be as accurate as a Stabilo, but if I use something I know is perfect to gauge it, then hey, it's going to be good enough for me. So that'll be a fun project, and if this works out well, I think I'll do a whole bunch of them. I mean, this piece is kind of, the, the wood itself is kind of thin for a level, but I like that because it takes up less room and for for things where you don't have to be like, you know, super perfect, I think that'll work just fine. So that's pretty much what I've been up to. Um, yeah, just tinkering around and getting ready. It's almost springtime here and I've got some big jobs lined up. Oh, and I'm going to be doing uh, an interior of uh, a classic um, 1960s VW van. Man, I'm looking forward to that project. That's going to be fun. And I'll definitely do some, uh, do some videos of that. Anyway, I'm going to get back to picture framing. Hope you guys are all well. And uh, thanks you guys um, who sent me messages wondering how I was doing. Appreciate that. I am still breathing. <laughs> all right, you guys. Take care. Hope you're well. Talk to you next time. Bye.